Hi y'all, this is Rochelle and welcome back to my channel, Rochelle's Plans. Today we're gonna to be planning in my mini happy planner for the week of Monday, May 25th through Sunday, May 31st. So before we get to planning, let's look at last week's spread and take a look at how that turned out. I used the new sticker book from the Newbie Happy Box, Stay Wild. And this is how it turned out. Y'all, I loved how this turned out. I, It matched my classic spread. And so I loved how it turned out. So let's get these pages off of the discs. All right. And so the sticker books that I'll be using today are the detailed florals again and the colorful boxes i will also use some of this happy i think this is happy planner um this spotty uh spotty dotty washi here and some stickers from um, rachel babel on etsy all right, so I have pre-chosen here some stickers um, to help assist with my plan with me, just like I did in my classic. So first, let's start off by, let's see here, let's lay down some washi. I was going to say let's do the flowers first because I am going to come in with some flowers so let's get my washi cutter here so let's just let's just lay it on Wednesday Tuesday and Wednesday And be careful not to rip the punched part because I have been known to do that a couple times and let's see I don't know I need it somewhere over here, but let's just hold off on where I want to put that at on this side of the page. So now let's come in with some flowers here, just like I'm going to use the same ones that I used in my classic spread because you guys know if you are a regular subscriber that I do like to use let's see which one it's this one this one be too big I do like to mirror my spreads let's see how this will look y'all if that would be too much Let's just see how it looks. You can always lift it up if I don't like it. I always like to mirror my spreads, whether it whether it is um, okay, that's cute. Whether it is in my mini or my classic, and I'm just I'm just um, cutting out the holes here where the sticker went over the holes. If I don't do it now, I will forget. Because trust me, I do it all the time. 
So that's that one. Now let's do this one. And it's easier for me to just cut the holes out this way versus using my punch because I only have two. Okay, so that's done. Yeah, sorry about that. I know that was loud. Sorry. Okay, so now I covered up that flower that was there. Okay, now let's put one over here. We're going to cover up May and Tobai. So now let's get out my white out and we're going to cover that up. So I don't necessarily need it to say to buy. I just need a to-do list. Okay, and I think, which one do I want to use? Let's see if this one will be too big. I think that won't be good enough. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Let's cut off the excess. Just lay that back on the page. So I may come in later and use the scraps. Okay, that's cute. All right. Yeah, I like that. Okay, now let's see. What do we want? Um, again, this is my inspiration sticker. So I kind of think I want a checklist here. Just to give it something different. A different look. And I could also, let's see, let's use this. It says, this is the life. Okay. Is it going to be too long? Nope, but it is long. Let me use this to come in. And also, while I'm using this, it's going to cover up this errands, but that's okay. I don't know if I like that way across the page like that. Let's just see. Come on, because I may end up cutting it some. So I don't like, yeah, I'm going to cut this some, because that is, that is a long quote sticker. I'm trying to get it straight. Okay, where am I? Where is my slice tool? I don't even think that's straight. That is so not straight. Let's cut off a little bit more here. You know what? Instead of me trying to eyeball it, let's just do it like this, the easy way. Okay. Hopefully I didn't cut through my page. Now, y'all, now I need my tweezers. Okay. 
Okay. Did I cut through the page? Nope, I didn't, luckily. Okay. So I think that is cute. Now, hmm, I want to do. this and cover okay I think that's cute now I want to use this here okay I'm going to do now since I want to use this sticker here um, I am going to Use the back of my sticker book so, so that I don't cut through on my paper. Let's just make sure this sticker is straight. So what I'm going to do is cut this in half and then you'll see. So essentially I'm going to make four stickers, well more than that actually. So I made this a half, now I'm going to, let's see, I don't have to cut that, no, let's just do it like this. And remember yesterday I said you can line up. If you want to make sure that you're going to be inside the box, you can line it up by the bottom line or the vertical line. But in this instance, it would be the top of the line. Okay, so we have that there. And then, do I want to use, let's see, would this one go over here on Saturday? That's too big, and I do have an appointment. But do I want that here? Or do I want to use I use this one? I think this is cute. Okay. Let's see. I don't think that's straight. Okay, so now I'm going to trim around because you can see through there. So I'm going to just eyeball it. Let it come all the way down. Okay. All right, now let's see what we have. Come on. I hope it doesn't. I hope it's easy for me to lift up. did not cut through the paper. I'm getting better at this. And we can use that for later if we need to. So there. So we have the outline there. I think that is really cute. And then we could put I want to put this remember here. Just a little cluster. I think that's cute. Now let's come over to this page. I still have to do something with the bottom down here, but I'm, I'm still thinking about that and how I want to do that. Okay, 
So I'm not going to use this as dinner plans. I used to, but since I captured that in my classic, I'm not going to be doing that in this. Uh, I use this planner as a work and on the go planner. Um, so I don't need to have dinner plans in this planner. So let's lift this up some so that way I can lay this down. Okay. Now let's come in with my slice tool. And just eyeballing it. Okay, I think that's good enough. So, again, that was my inspiration sticker there. So, since I have that all on this side of the page, the left side, I do want to bring some of that on the right side of the page. And what I typically do in this planner, um, I would just write down my work shifts. Even though they're out there the same each week, I still like to just write it in. Okay, so now what do we want to do? Um, see, Monday, which is today, is Memorial Day. So I can do let's just do this note to self here on Monday. All right. And then what do we have on Tuesday? We have, my daughter has uh, tumbling. Don't want to put that there. Do I want to use, let's use this purple box. We can use this one and I can put notate in here tumbling. And that's not straight, but we'll get it straight. Let me get back in the frame for y'all. Sorry. Y'all, today is Monday, Memorial Day, right? And do I have another green one that matches that one? Let's see. Because I pulled green. But let's see if I have one that will match that box. Let's see. Hopefully I do. Hmm. Let's see. Did I pass them? Okay, so I used it. Let's look at my other. Let's look at my other sticker. Well, where is it? Okay. Let's look in this one and see. I know I have one in here because this is a new sticker book. I should have one anyway. Here we go. So let's use this one. So today is Monday, Memorial Day, and hopefully I'll get this video edited and uploaded. Hopefully I don't have to do an, a lot of editing, um, but today is Monday, uh, Memorial Day, and my husband was supposed to grill, but it has been raining all day. So I don't know if we'll do that though, but I did cook some stuff already um, in the oven. I did my baked beans already and I have to put, what is that? I have to put um, the corn on the cob in the oven as well. My kids like it in the oven. I usually boil it, but they go nuts for it when I put it in the oven. And it's really good. If y'all haven't tried it, you should try it. It's already, it's about the kind that's in the shuck. Um, halfway in the shuck and I just put um, some butter on it and then roll it up 
in aluminum foil. I put it in the oven for about, for about an hour, hour and a half. It's really good. Let me know if y'all try it and if y'all have tried it and if you like it or not. Okay, so now we have Tumbling Tuesday, Wednesday. And then I have, what do I have on Saturday? Nothing on Saturday, but we have, she has a private lesson on Sunday. And then I also have my wax appointment on Sunday. But I wonder if this is going to be too big. Two birds with one stone, with one sticker. Yep, let's do that. I wish I had this in purple. Did I use purple in my, I may have used the purple one in my, what do you call it? My classic spread. And y'all, if, if y'all haven't seen my classic plan with me, I'll link it in the card. Um, I'll link it in the card here. So that way you guys can go back and watch that. I had so much fun creating that spread. It was really cute. Really, really cute. I think it was cute. I just want to put a flower around that. Let's see. Which one do I want to use, though? What? Can I pull it up? Okay. But yeah, and then on that one, my go-to, you know, I'm gonna leave it. My go-to colors were purple and orange. And y'all know I like to mirror my spreads, right? Um, so that way I use up my stickers. And also I can I can create cohesive spreads, right? So I've got to concentrate on doing that. So in my classic, oh that's cute. I've never done it like that before. Ooh. It came out good. Um, I like to create cohesive spreads. Right now I'm using three planners. Um, a mini dashboard, my classic dashboard slash vertical, and then my mini horizontal that I use as a daily journal. Well, what was I going with this story? Oh, so in my classic spread i use these same flowers but i pulled the purple and the orange out so this one i'm just using i'm trying to pull out the greens in this spread which i think is turning out really great okay now let's use some of these rachel babble dot stickers okay to come in here for some bullet points Mm. y'all these bullet points I love them because they are so easy to lift up off the page versus the happy plans I know they're not the exact same color but they match good enough I want to put two on Monday for today just because okay so we have those there now let's do the purple okay now do we have anything on Saturday nothing on Friday okay we don't have anything there on those days but what do we want to do do I want to put we can do that let's do 
Yeah, I got a lot of green over here. And not a lot of purple at all. Let's see. So I want to do... Let's do this. Let me put this green right here. I'm going to have to cut it. Not straight, but that's cute. So we have that there. I really didn't want. Y'all, I don't know who's calling me. My mom. Sorry about that. I'll call her back after this plan with me. It seems like people they call you when you get when you get ready to start filming, people they call you or they text you and you've been haven't done anything all morning. But it's like they know when you know, you turn the camera on. Isn't that crazy? Let's see, do I want to cut that in half? Um, okay. I don't know how I like that, the look of that, but there it is. Let me straighten this one up. I don't know if I did or not. Probably cut off too much. Okay. Whoops. Okay, y'all. Do we want anything down here? I could put some bullet points down there, couldn't I? Let's just do bullet points. But yeah, I'll call my mom back after this plan with me. Let's do remember. I don't know what I'm remembering, but it's cute. So we'll put it there. And then we'll lay down the bullet points. Okay, and so now, okay, so this side of the page is done. Let's focus on this right here. Hmm, let's try to see if I I know what I could do. I don't want that on top of that. Let's see. Let's do this one. We could use this here. We can do that. It looks the same, doesn't it, as this right here? I mean, I don't want that. Let's put a green one. Let's see if we can find a green one, which I should be able to. Yeah, if y'all hadn't got this sticker book, this is a really good colorful boxes sticker book. Okay, here we go. I can use this one. We can use this one here. So the thing is, do I care if I'm a little down under that page? Okay, now let's trim this. 
you can see through that. And hopefully I don't cut the sticker. Can y'all see that? Okay. All right. Hopefully I can lift this up. Because I did not lay it on the wax paper. I completely forgot about it. Now, hopefully I can lift this one up with ease. Okay, now let's lay this sticker back down. And that's cute. I like that. Now, what did I get this remember from? Because I need something right here. Let's just do, we can do, today's the day. Do I like that? Or I could do today, let's see. could do it like this today how does that look let's get it straight so guys what do y'all have planned for today Memorial Day again we don't have anything planned because um, everything has been is washed out mm, I wonder if I should put some flowers over here I don't think so oh you know what I can do I could put um, I could put must do let's do that could do must do and uh, let's see here must do and I could put bullet points as in um, I don't know what I I don't know what I'll have what I'll put right here but it looks cute I'll figure out what I can put right there let's I'm gonna turn this around and then I'll cut the other end Line it up with this line on the page. Okay, I think that's cute. It's really functional. I've got my list here. I've got, if I want to make a list right here, I can do so. Um, write down what's really important here here I can write down a little um, either a gratitude box or a scripture for the week and here I think I'll put down like my um, my water intake maybe because I need to track that or I'm taking pills um, to clear up an infection so maybe I could put that there I don't know we'll have to see um, but yeah, so here's the, here's the finished spread guys. Um, it's cute. 
I like how the green and the purple looks together, just like I did with the um, the orange and the purple. This is really cute. So let's clear some of this stuff up, because when I plan, I make a mess. Do you guys? Are you messy planners or are you neat planners? I'm messy. So. Let's put these pages back on the discs and see what it looks like. And then my pages are flying all everywhere. All right, y'all, so here's the finished spread. I love how it turned out. I like the colors, the pink, I'm um, sorry, the purple and the green. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like the video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you do subscribe to my channel, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss whenever I upload. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Plan with Rochelle. And thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.